Yeah, I wasn't really ever the kid that wanted to, to score goals. I kind of like to you know, steal the ball from people. That's kind of my thing. And I guess it could be my sister played forward and uh, she's a little bit older than me and that's kind of how I started playing soccer. So I would always t defend her and I guess it just rolled from there. Uh, anytime you have a big, tall, physical center back like that, you you kind of let them do their thing in front of you. Uh, you don't have to be as aggressive. Uh, he puts them in the in tough angles for shots and makes my life a lot easier. I'm able to get forward more than more than most, I believe. Uh, and, and a lot of that stems from Matt kind of being that solid guy in the back, covering when need be and covering when I can't get back. My number one uh, responsibility for, for the team as a whole is to be, to be the leader. That's what the captain is there for. I think that's what our team needs is, is somebody to be a leader out there on the field, you know talking, being the, being the example for guys to, to work off of. He's not necessarily the most vocal guy on the field or in the locker room, but more of a guy that leads by example. He knows when to pump us up and knows when to, uh, to put together a little, a little something to say before a game. I mean, just show the guys that you're always there for them. You got their back, you know, when they need to talk to somebody, you're going to be there. If they have a problem, you're going to be there. I feel, I feel like that's something that, you know, I try to do a lot. I think the synergy is important as, as a backline, especially the, the longer you play together, the more you kind of know each other's habits. It's kind of a subconscious thing. You kind of, you don't think about it as much, but you know, like, hey, you know, Walker's going to be here. He's going to win that ball, but I still need to cover. Or like Zach, he can win that ball, and I, but you know, I still have to get over to do my job. And you know, you don't, you're not thinking about it as much, like, like I just, like I just said, but it kind of just happens. The trust level between our back line is good because we've had so many, so many games together, and then between him and Walker, or him and Zach, or whoever's out there, there's there's a lot of a lot of time together uh, on the field and, and training sessions to to really smooth out everything. You know, the relationship I have with Chris is kind of uh, like a I mean, best friend kind of thing. I mean, he's been on the team the whole time I've been here, almost, and uh, that's kind of the relationship you want to have with with the guys around you on the field. Kind of you know, on the field you're you're getting it done, but off the field you're like your friends, and I think that's something that helps us as a as a backline be communicating well and just doing all the right things. When he sees something that's not going right or if it's not going to go right in the future, we, we'll talk about it, whether it's on a goal kick, whether it's on a corner kick, whatever it is, we'll, we'll get the direction sorted. He's one of those guys that's very thoughtful and pensive and when the, when the words come out, you know you need to listen because you know they're important. So uh, that, that carries a weight to it just in itself. They're normally really receptive. I mean, it's, it's our job to get things right on the field and just, you know, if I tell them something, they normally do it. And if you know, if they tell me something, they see something that's not right on my end. You know, I'll do it right away because you know, that's how you win games is getting stuff right.